<laughs> oh, I need a cut, dog. Hey, so I wasn't going to talk about this, man. I, I wasn't going to address this, but I kind of want to talk about it. Hold on, let me adjust this light because this is reflecting hard off my glasses. Hold on, Chief. Um, that didn't make it no better. <laughs> but um, I wanted to talk about this Russell Wilson thing and this, this simping thing because it got really, really big. And I know I missed the wave a little bit because I wasn't going to talk about it. But I kind of want to talk about it. So if you don't know, it's been a, a huge topic. I, I kind of want to... I kind of want to make this a double video. I kind of, I kind of want to talk about this all in one video, two topics. So I, I want to talk about the Lori Harvey situation, Michael B. Jordan, and I want to talk about uh uh Lori uh that's it yeah Lori Harvey, Michael B. Jordan, and Russell Wilson and Sierra. So people have been calling Russell Wilson a simp. Now I want to weigh in on this because I, I from my interpretation, a simp was somebody who would sort of go out of their way. Um, um, super hard for a woman, like would go super extreme to like an extreme level. Not, not no treating a woman like I'm. We don't know incel stuff over here. Hold on, but not like uh, 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 treating a woman with respect. That should be a given. But like extremes, like like them dudes. Okay, simps. Example, example. You in a Twitch chat of some chick, and you're typing in her comments, and she's ignoring the chat, completely ignoring the chat, and then you donate fifty dollars to get no, you donate ten dollars, and she ain't got the notification of ten dollars. That's too low for her, right? Then you come back and you see that you got to donate 50, you donate another $50 and then you type in a message. I just wanted you to acknowledge me. Uh, uh, I love you so much and support your content. It would make my day for you just to acknowledge me. That's a simple. A dude who, who, who was saved in girl's phone is food. That's a simple. The dude that's going out, spending all his bread on a woman and getting nothing in return. That's a simple. Okay. So, so that's, that's my interpretation of a simple before we get into the topic. So, when it comes to Russell Wilson, do I think dude is a simp? No, I don't think dude is a simp. Now, now hear me out. Hear me out. I think there's a misinterpretation on what a simp is, right? I think the problem with is we're trying problem we're trying to lump two different two different things in. We're trying to lump two different topics in, right? I think the masses, which don't get me wrong, the masses have always had a problem with Sierra. I don't understand. When we were kids. The adults, when we were children, were trying to convince us that Sierra was a man because she was tall. Like, what the, what? Now she has kids. Like, all has been debunked, obviously. I didn't believe it as a kid growing up. But the adults, when we were children, were trying to convince the world that Sierra was a man. Like, what the hell? But um, the world has, like, always had a problem with Sierra. And I think the problem with Sierra is, I think people have an issue with the nice guys finishing last. Oh, excuse me. That was super unprofessional. We're we going to get to the nitty gritty. We're going to get to the nitty gritty. Um, I think the problem was people were frustrated that the nice guy finished last. Now, if you look at Sierra's dating history, it's nothing crazy in the public eye, but she dated Bow Wow, who was a player, right? Bow Wow has always been, if, if you've seen Bow Wow outside of like music, like you've seen him in interviews, you've seen him talking, you've seen like clips, you know, when we were kids and followed these people online, you've seen stuff like him not necessarily treating women with respect, right? So she dated a player in Bow Wow who's always been known to be a player. Then she, I think the next relationship I heard about was Future. I don't know if she dated anybody in between. She dated Future, and then she got pregnant by this dude who was publicly trash. Publicly trash, right? This dude has multiple baby mamas, a bunch of kids out there, and the dude publicly is okay with saying that I don't need to be in my kid's life if I'm financially taking care of them. Okay, all his baby mamas almost say that he is trash. All his baby mamas, this dude has a Carfax. It's, it's not too often that you can get a man with a Carfax. This dude comes with a Carfax that says that he is trash. And Sierra still lay with that man and procreated with that man and created a child. Now, before her and Russell Wilson got married, if, if I was in that situation, would I have pursued Sierra? No, I wouldn't have. Now, that doesn't make Russell Simmons, I say Russell Simmons. <laughs> That doesn't make Russell Wilson uh, a simp for, for pursuing it. If that's what he wants to do, he wants to do. But I think people's problem with the entire situation is that Sierra, a woman who dated the bad guys, right, was reckless in her dating decisions, got pregnant during her, her, her reckless dating decisions, finally found a good man that treated her. She got her happy ending. She had her cake and eat it too, which is fine. Which is fine. It doesn't bother me. It's no skin on my back. But I think because people have a problem with that, they are trying to associate Russell Wilson with being a simp, which just isn't true. Russell Wilson came in as a man, right? 
he, he came in as a man let's let's get it straight he didn't waste her time he didn't play no games he was straightforward he this is what i want this is what i want to do he started he started dating that woman cool in the public eye hey russell wilson is here is dating what the heck she dating a football player cool whatever then you start seeing stories of him embracing her son being a stepfather i don't see the simp in that i i just don't see the simp in that it was a relationship he didn't have to go crazy and do all this wild stuff and 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 i don't know he didn't have to do anything wild he just came into it as a man took the situation for what it was he didn't treat a kid like trash go oh, that ain't my kid i often feel like people would feel more comfortable with the russell wilson um situation if he didn't really embrace her son like that you know what i'm saying like oh if he did something bad people are mad at russell wilson for being a man like a man i think i think i'm gonna have to divide this up I'm, i think i'm gonna have to do the Lori harvey's in a different video because i really want to get into this so we're gonna we're gonna do the Lori harvey's thing in a separate video <laughs> okay um but i think people have a problem with that that he stepped up as a man and the thing is this is what you want to see in the black community like you don't get me wrong it would have been better right realistic scenario you would have preferred that future didn't have a thousand baby mamas or sierra didn't entertain him and if they did future had a child with that woman, married that woman, and built a family with that woman. That's that's that would have been a preferred thing, but I feel like this is the next best thing for her and her children. <laughs> Russell Wilson married her, took care of her first child. He, not, I mean, not take care of, treat, uh, 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 embraced her first child, and, and gave love. And I think that's what you should do as a man if you're entertaining a woman with a child. I don't understand this hate that people are giving them for him doing that that's not simping bro that's being a man it blows me that that people are like that because i grew up in a similar situation right so i don't even know if i want to talk okay I'll, I'll talk about it whatever i already brought it up i gotta finish the video i gotta talk i gotta bring it up when i was growing up my father would play video games with us and money that was, that was that was the bulk of it like occasionally we would go out and do stuff oh he would money okay money because he buy school clothes stuff like that so it was like my father was like he'll sit down and play video games with us occasionally it was more so once i became like older we started playing video games but even as a kid we didn't really play video games together we didn't really do anything together it was sort of like he would go out grind hustle you know work get his money and then he would pay bills and then like we would see him on weekends but it was sort of like I don't know it was kind of weird growing up as a kid like he was there but he wasn't necessarily there when i was a kid and then once we became teenager i guess he felt like he could relate to us a little bit more so we started playing video games together and like every so often we would go out and play basketball like we didn't really do much with my pops right it was sort of like he was a provider i won't take that from him he was a provider but like like he we didn't you know i never sat down for my father with my father and was like yo i need relationship advice i never sat down with my father and had a mentor session I never I don't I don't like football. I don't play football. Like I can catch a football, but I can't I, I can't throw a football. I'm a grown ass man. I can't even throw a football. Like these are things that my father we just didn't do. Not not, not knocking him. It, it relates to the story. But me and my father didn't do that. Like I remember my little brother was on a basketball team and we would go to all my little brother's games and my father never was at any of them. Like he was still present. We would still see him on weekends and stuff like that. But my father, my brother played on a basketball team for like two, three years. My father never showed up to a game. It was just like, it just wasn't his thing. I, I don't know. He never asked. Like, he knew my brother was playing basketball. He just didn't show up. Like, I don't get it. Like, or, or like, I used to do music, right? I really, really was into music when I was younger. And he, my mother even went to a studio session before. He's never been to a studio session. Like, it just ain't his thing. So I say this all to say this, right? So my mother gets in another relationship and she meets my stepfather. And my stepfather... He does all these things, right? He, he does these things that growing up, I wish my father did do. He he goes to all the basketball games. He pushes my brother to do more sports. Now, I'm I'm, slow, I'm a little older at this point, right? So it's not like I ain't, I ain't got him um, to, to make me do all these things, you know, that I wanted to do growing up and stuff like that. But he pushed my brother to do football, pushed my brother to do basketball. He was more so like a mentor for us. He was more so involved on the mentoring stage. Like he was always laughing and joking with us. Yo, come sit down here with me. You know what I'm saying? He would go in the basement. Yo, yo, come down here. Let's let's play the game or let's let's just let's just let's just talk and stuff like that. You know, I was able to relate to him more 
Um, it's weird. It's weird saying that out loud. It's kind of weird. I've always internalized. It's kind of weird saying that out loud. Um, and I appreciated that. And a lot of, and I, I feel like me having that helped me out, especially when like me and my mother used to have issues with our relationship. Like me and my mother relationship has been shaky for a very, very long time. And it still goes through a stage sometimes, but overall we're good. But I, I, I remember when he was sometimes interfered and try to get down to the bottom of things. And that was something I needed because when my mother and father stayed in the household together, my father was the enforcer, right? So if you piss mom off, it's over. Like there is no, let's sit down and get to the bottom of it. All my pops know is we piss, let's beat ass. But my stepfather on the other hand, and he was like a, a, a person to sit down and let's talk about it. Right. And I, I feel like people need that. People need that mentor and stuff like that. In, in Sierra and Future and Russell Wilson's instance, Future isn't necessarily involved. He provides. He may even see the kid, but he doesn't. He 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 has multiple kids and multiple baby mamas calling him trash. Right? It's not it's not like it's just one. Right? And there's there's a bunch of women saying this about this dude. His kid needs that. His kid. Uh, I mean, Sierra's kid needs that. She needs that love. She her kid needs that back end. Needs that mentor. Russell Wilson is religious. The, the dude is a, a straightforward guy. You can call him a cornball, how he dress, he wear the Hawaiian shirts and the, and the khakis and stuff like that. Call him what you want. The man is successful. The man is religious. He treats his woman like a queen. I don't see a problem with that. I don't, I don't see what everybody's drawing an issue with that. I don't understand why we're starting to muddy the lines with Simp. Simp was really straightforward with what it initially was. And now we're starting to blur the lines toward being a man is now being a simp, which is a huge problem that needs to be addressed and left alone. Like, we, we need to stop that, okay? Russell Wilson is not a simp. If, if anything, if anything, and I know, I know this is going to bother, it's going gonna, it's gonna to bother some people. If anything, I feel like if anybody's closer to a simp that is married, because I, I think you can't really simp for your significant other, but I'm playing devil, devil's advocate, okay? If anybody is simping right now for their significant other, it would be probably Steph Curry. Reason, reason why. Let me explain my thinking because I know somebody probably like, what the hell? Steph Curry's wife a couple years ago publicly was bashing women. Well, not bashing. I don't use such a strong word because that, that, that means that I like disagree with her and agree with them. Because I, I, I kind of lean more so toward her perspective on this topic. But a few years ago, she was criticizing that's the word i'm looking for criticizing women for being half naked sexualizing themselves you know not really wearing clothes she was saying that that was disrespectful to not only you but your significant other what happened to you know keeping it in a bedroom uh, uh only for your eyes to see and she had a point i thought she was spitting but here it is years later she's doing the complete opposite she's Posed naked and nude online. She's done magazines. She is uploading Instagram with her wearing more risque clothing and stuff like that. So in my mind, if I was Steph Curry, I would be like, bro, you told me, you out of your own mouth said that this is disrespectful to me. You said that this is disrespectful. Even if I ain't feel that way, you told me that in your mind, this is disrespectful and you are doing it. Therefore, if in your mind it is disrespectful when you're doing it, you're disrespecting me. And I'm going to check you on it. I'm, I'm, I'm a man. I'm going to check you on it. I'm, I'm one of those type of dudes. If I got a problem, I'm going to tell you I got a problem. So if we wanted to say anybody in the realm of being married could be a simp, I feel like that situation would apply more than this one. Because all I've seen Russell Wilson do is step forward to be a man. And I haven't seen Sierra disrespect that man or do anything disrespectful. I could have missed something. Because to be honest with you, I don't follow gossip. I don't really give a damn. But I wanted to attack this topic because everybody was going nuts about it. But if you made it to end this video, thank you for your time. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out. Actually, before I go, just just not just like, comment, subscribe. I always say that little, little, little tidbit at the end. Um, leave how you feel in the comment section for real about this topic. Do you feel like Russell Wilson is a simp? Honestly. I don't really feel like he's a simp. I, I don't see it. But but if you do leave a he's a simp in the comment section, leave, leave explanation. Help me. Enlighten me. If Russell Wilson is actually a simp, enlighten me. But I just personally feel like we're blurring the lines and we're associating being a responsible man with being a simp. And, and I don't get that. But I appreciate your time. Thank you. I'm out.